Hi guys, welcome to your gentle period yoga class. This is an all levels class, really focused on beginner level, very gentle, obviously to help with your period, that time of the month, shark week, whatever you want to call it, we're getting into it today. Um, this class is designed to help relieve cramping and lower back pain, because I know when I'm on my period, my lower back hurts really bad. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, I recommend having a block or two um, just for a supported bridge pose we're going to do at the end of class. It's not absolutely necessary if you don't have one. Um, you can also use textbooks. I have my Harry Potter books on my shelf. Those make great blocks. Whatever works for you. So I know that us uterus havers, uh, <laughs> we, we don't really like our periods. Um, but at the same time, I feel like our period is just a reminder that we are cyclical beings, right? We cycle. Um, men's cycle too is just a really <laughs> way more fast, easy cycle than ours. Um, but for us, um, we actually cycle with the moon. So a moon cycle is 28 days. Our periods are generally 28 days. It can be shorter, can be longer, depending on your body. But we cycle. We're cyclical beings. And this applies not just to our period cycle, but to every cycle in life. There's season changes. There's a food cycle, food digestion. There's a life-death cycle. Everything in life is cyclical. And we have to remind ourselves that we cannot be 100% all the time. Because if we believe that life is cyclical, there's going to be an active cycle and a rest cycle. So our active cycle is obviously we're being active, feeling productive, getting things done, and then we always have to come back down to a rest cycle, which is where we listen to our bodies, we rest, we recuperate, regenerate, and then we just repeat it all over again. So remember that, especially during this time, when you're on your period, it is okay to rest. It is okay to take time for yourself to really listen to your body, get in tune with your body and do some yoga. So that's what we're going to do. Um, so this class, we're going to get started, seated, um, easy seated pose, whatever that means for you. It can mean something different for everybody. Um, for my easy seated pose, I, I just take the classic um, legs crossed. And once you're there, maybe just kind of wiggle some squish out so you can feel your sit bones on the mat. And get in a comfortable position. And just go ahead and close your eyes. You can have your palms facing down to get grounded, or you can have palms facing up to take in energy, or you can even bring your hands to your heart center, whatever feels right for you and your body. And just start to bring it to your breath here. We're just inhaling and exhaling through our nose. We're not changing anything about our breath just yet. Just noticing it. And using our breath as a tool to bring us to the present, to our mat. And starting to check in here. So take an inventory of the mind and the body and the soul. How are you feeling? And of course, at this part in our cycle, it's normal to feel sad, overwhelmed, in pain, annoyed, frustrated, angry. It's just what our hormones do to us and it's okay. And this is a great time to practice non-judgment. And as those feelings come up, those pains come up, acknowledge them and let them pass. And remember, it's always okay to feel your feelings. You have a safe space to feel, just as long as you don't beat yourself up about it. That's what non-judgment means. Having self-compassion. We're gonna take a few really deep breaths in and out together. So I want you to inhale really big in through your nose and exhale, open mouth release. So we inhale, expand the chest, expand the belly and exhale, release. One more, just like that. No sucking in, really press your belly out. Inhale, press that belly out and exhale, open mouth release. We are going to get started with some gentle movement here. I want you to inhale your arms up overhead. And exhale, we're gonna take a gentle twist to the right. So that left hand's coming to the right knee. Your right hand is planting behind you and you're just very, very gently twisting. Now with twists, you wanna make sure your spine is elongated. You're not crouched over. It's like somebody is pulling a string from the top of your head. And with every inhale, you lengthen. With every exhale, you maybe twist a little bit more, gazing over that back shoulder. Don't 
forget to breathe. Go ahead and inhale. Everything comes up and back to center. And exhale, just take it to the other side. Again, a very gentle twist, not forcing anything. If you can't twist this far, wherever you can go is totally okay. With every inhale, we lengthen. With every exhale, we twist. And go ahead and inhale, bring everything back to center. Exhale, we're just going to very gently fold over our legs. Getting right into that lower back release, a little bit of a hip release here. And again, you're going as far as you can go. It's okay as you, if you can't fold as deep. Everyone's yoga is different. Everyone's bodies are different. I don't know if you guys can hear the wind blowing outside my window. It's a super windy day in Vegas today. Go ahead and inhale, gently come up. Now if you're seated with your legs crossed, I just want you to go ahead, switch the cross of your legs. We're gonna go into some seated cat cows here. So if your hat palms are facing up or facing them down, bring them to our knees. You're gonna inhale, press out the chest, drop the head back, gazing up. Exhale, you're rounding, kind of pulling on the knees, doming out the shoulders, bringing your chin to your chest. And we inhale, open up. And exhale, round. Inhale, open. And exhale, round. And I want you to do about five more of these on your own breath, linking your breath to your movement and taking any movements that feel really good to you. Maybe you wanna go from side to side, whatever your body is telling you, just do it. Get in tune with your body and give it what it wants. And just always remember your breath. Finish up the last round that you're on. We're just gonna come to a neutral seat and gently transition to a tabletop position. So come into your hands and knees, your sh shoulder elbow wrists are all in line. Your hips are gonna be right over your knees. We're gonna go right into some cat cows here in our table. So same concept. We're inhaling, expanding the chest, gazing forward. And exhale, we're rounding everything, dropping our chin to our chest. And inhale, open up. Exhale, round. Do five more of these on your own breath. Linking your breath to your movement. Really feeling that front body expand when we open up for our cow. And really feeling that lower back when we come to our cat. And again, if there's any movements that you're like, man, that really would feel good right now. Maybe rocking from side to side, taking it in circles. Just remember to even out your side and do what feels right for you. Finishing up the last round that you're on and coming to a neutral spine. We're gonna come to a downward dog, but only for a quick second. So you're gonna tuck your toes, inhale those hips up and back. Just walking out that dog for just a moment, getting a little bit into the hamstrings. We're on the next inhale, we're gonna gaze to the top of our hands. On the exhale, you're just gonna step up into a forward fold. So we're gonna hang out in a forward fold for quite a bit here. Forward folds release the low back. So if you want it more on your low back, you're gonna keep a slight bend to your knees. Your feet are about hips distance apart. You can bring them smaller or wider, whatever feels best for you. We're just gonna hang out here. Maybe you gently rock from side to side. Maybe you grab for opposite elbows. Maybe you can give your legs a little hug here. 
You can listen to your body. Now we're gonna repeat a little halfway lift and then fold sequence three times. So I want you to bring your hands to your shins, press into them, inhale for a halfway lift, flat spine, and exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. And one more time, inhale for that halfway lift. And exhale, fold, nice and deep. Now, you might want to bring your feet just a teeny tiny bit wider. We're going to take gorilla pose here. So what that looks like is you're going to lift your feet and you're going to place your palms underneath your feet. Now you might need to bend your knees here. We're stretching out the shoulders, the low back. Your toes are kind of pressing into your wrists. Maybe give your wrists a little massage. And don't forget to breathe here. And gently release. Shake it out for a moment. Don't mind that dog losing his mind. <laughs> All right, bring the hands to the shins. Inhale for that halfway lift one more time. Exhale, fold. And inhale, come all the way up to standing. And exhale, your hands to your heart center. Take a moment to close your eyes here. Check in. See how you're feeling. Maybe you're already feeling better from a little bit of movement. Maybe you're not, that's totally okay. We're gonna keep going. I hope by the end of this class, you at least feel a little bit of improvement. All right, we're gonna take it to a wide-legged fold. So I'm gonna come to face the long edge of my mat. So you can bring your feet as wide as you prefer. It can be short, it can be wide. How flexible you are, listen to you and your body. We're gonna inhale our arms up. And exhale, just gently take that wide-legged fold here. And sway your hips from side to side. I don't know if you heard mine pop. And then we're gonna reach back in between our legs. So as far as you can go, Getting into those hamstrings and that low back and those hips. All right, we come back to center. And we're gonna walk it over to the right foot. Again, stretching out the hamstrings and that left outer hip. And then gently Walk it over to the left. And then come back to center and reach back in between your legs one more time. And then go ahead and release. We're going to Gently kind of walk our feet in. You want to bend your knees and then come down to a seat on your mat. And we're going to find a child's pose from here. Now, usually I cue a wide-legged child's pose because my favorite thing ever um, is my favorite because I have boobs and a belly and it's, you know, gives me kind of space to put them there. Um, but for your period, a uh, regular child's pose really, really gets into that low back. So maybe try a regular child's pose if it's uncomfortable. Just go ahead and widen your knees to about as wide as your mat. So find your child's pose, whatever you prefer. And we're breathing here. And push those hips back to your heels. And then inhale here. And exhale, just gently walk your arms over to the right, getting that left side stretch. And 
inhale, walk it through center, and exhale, over to the left, stretching out that right side body. And inhale, bring your hands back to center. And then we're going to take a little modified child's pose. So if you just like the regular child's pose, stay here. If you want to try a little something different, we're actually going to bring our arms behind us, palms facing up, or you can kind of grab your shins or your ankles and just release here. And give yourself a little hug. Ahead and gently press yourself back up. We're going to slowly transition to our backs. So however you want to get there, and find your space on your mat. Make sure you keep your blocks nearby because we're going to be using those soon. And just come down nice and slow to your back. Now I'm going to do a little baby flow from a morning stretch to a nice tight little ball. So I want you to expand your arms out overhead, extend your legs out, take that big morning stretch like you just woke up in the morning. And then we're gonna take it to the opposite. So curling in, knees into the chest, into a little ball. Inhale, extend back out into that morning stretch. And exhale, find that ball. Give yourself a hug. One more time, inhale. Find that nice big morning stretch. And exhale, bring it back into that ball. Last time, really squeeze. Try to bring your forehead to your knees. And then go ahead and gently release. We're gonna take a few twists here. So I want you to bring your arms out to a T position. Draw those knees into your chest. Inhale here and exhale. Just drop those knees over to the right. This is where we're getting into that low back. So it might feel a little intense, especially if you're on your period. So just listen to your body. Maybe you gaze over your left shoulder in the opposite direction. Inhale, gently bring everything through center. And exhale over to the other side. Again, maybe gazing over your shoulder. Remembering to breathe through these poses. Ahead. Inhale, gently come back to center. Now this is where our blocks are gonna come in. Again, you can use one or two. Um, you can put it at any height that you like it, but this is gonna be a nice little low back release. So it's a foot bridge pose. So your feet bottoms are on the mat, your knees are bent, you're kind of bringing your feet as close up to your butt as you can get them. You're gonna inhale, just gently lift your hips up and scoop that block underneath there. Again, you can keep it on the lowest setting. If you want a little bit more, you can bring it to a higher setting, or you can bring it to the absolute highest, the long ways. But again, listen to you and your body. This also kind of puts a pressure point on the low back, so it'll relieve some of that pressure. And if at any time it gets uncomfortable, all you're gonna do is lower to the lowest setting or get rid of the block and just relax. 
So we're going to hold here for a while. Your arms can go wherever they want to go. They can be on the sides. I kind of like the rest line on my stomach. And just breathe. Reminding yourself for this time that, again, we're cyclical. We live in cycles. We're not expected to be 100% all the time. And it's okay to embrace that rest cycle, to embrace that downtime. And remember here as you breathe to really expand the belly. A lot of the times we're told to suck it in and we don't want to do that. We want to take up space. So really push your belly out. And then as you exhale, let it drop. It's okay to have a belly. Especially on your period, you might be bloated or uncomfortable. And it makes it even more uncomfortable to suck it in. When you're ready, gently inhale the hips up just a teeny bit so you can scooch that block out from underneath you. Then go ahead and release nice and slow. We're going to windshield wipe our legs out for a moment. And then we're going to actually take some gentle windshield wiper twists. These are my favorite. So the next time your knees drop over to the right, you're going to hold them there. So this might be enough for you. You're really going to feel it in that left hip, your low back. If you want a little bit more, you're going to bring that right foot to the thigh just above the knee of the left leg. And just stretch it out here. Again, if, if this is too difficult, you're just going to keep your legs dropped over to the right. Stretching out the outer part of this left hip. And go ahead and gently release. Shake them out for a second. And then we're going to drop them over to the left. And again, same thing. If this is enough for you, stay here. You want a little bit more, you're just bringing that left foot to the top of the right knee on the thigh, not directly on the knee joint, just a little above it. And this is one of my favorite stretches, guys. I feel like we don't get into this part of the hip too much. Go ahead and gently release. Shake it out a little bit. We're going to take a final pose here. Now, if you have something that you're like, wow, I really I want to do that pose, that pose would feel really good here. Go wherever you would like. You guys know my favorite pose is happy baby, so that's where I'm going to go. I'm bringing my feet bottoms up towards the ceiling. I'm grabbing my feet. Just really opening up my hips. Releasing the lower back even more. And hold whatever your final pose is just for a few breaths. And go ahead and gently release. Now, for our Savasana today, we're going to do something a little bit different. So you got to have a, a little empty wall to do this. So find yourself your way to a wall. Mine's a little bit crowded with pillows and bookshelves. I'm going to do my best and we're just going to do legs up the wall. So how to get there, you're going to come right up against the wall and kind of put your hips to the side and that's how you're going to get them. 
against the wall. Or you can kind of shimmy your way down. I'm kind of sliding on the floor because of my leggings. I'm likely going to go straight up the wall. Now, if you want to get a little bit more into the hips, you can take a bound angle pose here. You can even take um, a wide-legged splay if you want to get into the hamstrings, the hips, work on your middle splits. We're just getting a little baby inversion here. I like to bring my arms kind of overhead. And this is where we're going to find our Savasana. And this is where I will leave you in your practice today. You can relax here for as long as you like. I recommend at least five to 10 minutes, especially if you're on your period. Just get that relaxing in, put on some music. Honestly, I usually fall asleep like this. But again, stay here for as long as you like. Close your eyes, listen to your breath, and remind yourself that you are cyclical and it's okay to take rest. Again, this is where I will leave you for your practice today. Thank you so much for joining me. Delight in me honors delight in you. Namaste.